the relationship between these settings on the back of that flash is one stop of light. All right. So when I change that light from full power to half power, I have cut the amount of light coming out of that by one stop. Where's our other one stop relationships? Right here. If I go from F8 to 5.6, that's one stop of light. If I go from full power to half power, that is one stop of light. Correct? So if I go from full power to quarter power, one, two, two stops of light, then I can make a change by two stops here. Wherever I make a stop of light change, whether it's via aperture or flash power, I change it by a stop there, I can change it by a stop here. Or if I look at that light and I go, you know what, I need two stops less light out of that flash. I can go and dial two stops less light out of that flash. What you don't want to do is come over here to the back of your flash, scratch your head, and go, <sighs> click, no, um, uh, client, tell me when to stop. Stop, okay, um, click, you know. There is a relationship between this little slider and your aperture values. And the goal is, that we find our one proper, true, good exposure. We want to find a great exposure, but we want the ability to make a change from that and to know which direction we go in. All right? So, full, half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, thirty-second. For the majority of this weekend, those are the power settings we're dealing with. Full power, half power, quarter power, eighth power, sixteenth power, 30 second power. All right. So, what does this look like? At full power, that's a lot of light. Right? That's a lot of light at full power. And to make a proper exposure at full power, if I come in and hit you, Nick, with like full power from this flash, it's a lot of light. It's like all the light it's got on you. Do you think I need to shoot you at 1.8 wide open? No. I'm probably like, that's a lot of light. I'm going to bring my aperture down because it's so much light hitting him to make a proper exposure. So let's call full power F15. F16. All right. Let's call full power F16, hypothetically. All right. Hypothetical situation. All right, so we're at full power and I get F16. And let's just say hypothetically, that's a great exposure on you, all right? I've taken my flash. Whoops, I've dropped my eraser. I point this at you at full power, bam. I fry your eyeballs with light, all right? And I take a picture and I look at the back of my camera. We're not getting into a meter yet. We're just chimping. Um, praying and spraying. Um, and F16 looks great. Wow, full power, F16. Looks perfect. Let's just call that, hypothetically, our proper exposure. But now I have to make a decision of, well, I'm shooting at F16 here, but I want to shoot at F4. That's at full power. This looks good at F16. How do I get to F4? Well, if these are one-stop increments, and these are one-stop increments, I can start to count this out. If at F16 I'm at full power, if I cut my power in half, I lose how much light? One stop. So if I'm at full at F16, at half I should be at F11. Well, if I cut this power again in half, I've lost one stop of light. So if I go from full to half, that I went to 16 to 11, if I go from half to quarter, I'm eight. If I go to eighth, I'm gonna be 5.6. I go to 16th, I'm at F4. And I could get down to 2.8 if I wanted.